Hey, what's going on, guys? Want to do an account update here. A couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is if you go to my homepage here on YouTube, um, you know, where you check out my comments and all that kind of stuff, videos. Uh, I'm featuring a video right now, and it is Outdoors with Dallas, uh, Dallas Williams. He uh, runs a um, an outdoor show in uh, Illinois. And I was introduced to, uh, to Dallas by uh, my good friend online here, Derek Rebner. You guys know him as Tex, constantly uh, trolling my comments because he thinks it's funny. Um, by the way, once again, I mentioned this before, but he writes some pretty nasty comments. It's all it's all a joke. You know, he likes to see your reaction, so don't react to him. If you see something stupid, we are actually really good friends. He just, I don't know, he's just a weird guy, and he likes to, uh, likes to write stupid stuff so that uh, you guys can say how crappy he is. So, I don't know. But anyway, he is, a, he is actually a good guy. And uh, he introduced me to Dallas, and Dallas wanted me to um, provide some uh, some different reviews for gear uh, for his show. His show is broadcasted in Illinois. It's on TV. So both me and Tex have made it to TV. Yay! <laughs> Illinois television, anyway. So if you're in Illinois, um, definitely check it out if you're into hunting. First off, if you're not into hunting... Don't bother. It's a hunting show, okay? Don't go over there and tell them that hunting is not good and all that kind of stuff, you know? If you're not into it, don't watch it. If you are into it, I think it's actually a very good show. Uh, I don't personally hunt, but I've told you in the past I have nothing against hunters. In fact, I may hunt in the future. I have no idea, you know, where it's going to go. Um, I think it's interesting. I like the whole idea of the stalk and the preparation and everything it takes and the patience and just enjoying yourself in the woods, all that kind of stuff that's involved with hunting. Uh, and I do, in fact, enjoy the idea of providing for myself and my family with meat and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, will I ever hunt? I don't know, but it's not, uh, you know, something that's definitely not going to happen. You can put it that way. But for now, uh, you know, I'm happy to be able to provide him with certain reviews. And uh, he just had his first episode and. Throughout the episode, you'll see different different hunting things, of course. It is a hunting show, as well as fishing, all kinds of outdoor uh, sports. And uh, I provide him with my uh, Boker, um, uh, one of my knife reviews that I did on the Keycom. So you put that in the show, and of course, there's a link there to watch his show. But anyway, that's, what's that, that's what that is all about. I wanted to um, feature the video on my channel so I can expose his his whole hunting show to my viewers. So just wanted to get that out of the way and explain what that was about in case you did go over there and, and wonder why I had that video on there. So that's where it is. Congratulations to uh, Derek Rebner uh, for making it to TV. His hunting show is now broadcasted in his home state of Illinois, and I just happen to be doing reviews on the show as well. But that's that. Um, the next thing, speaking of hunting, I got some stuff from Cabela's. And don't laugh. I picked up one of these trapper hats. Now, these things, to me, they always look like the goofiest thing. But you know what? I got to tell you, it is comfortable. And it's extremely, extremely warm. And the older I get, the more I realize I can care less what people think I look like. <laughs> but comfort is important. And when I'm out there shoveling the driveway and taking care of the snow and just being out in the cold, I want to be comfortable. So there's my trapper hat. It's actually really cool. Um, if you want to stay warm this winter, I would suggest picking one up. Uh, I got this for like $15 or $16 at Cabela's. This is the cheapo version. They make a really nice one for like 50 bucks with real leather and real uh, rabbit fur and all that other kind of stuff. But um, it's really, really comfortable. So I'm happy I got that. Also picked up some new gloves, winter gloves. Um, these were cheap too. These were like $14. These are, they have the thin sulate, uh, excuse me, thin sulate uh, inserts in it. They're actually really, really warm, and they're very comfortable, kind of a wool outside. But anyway, some more Cabela stuff, as well as I got, let's see, some boots. And I'm actually very happy with these. These are the Cabela's boots. Uh, I think I paid $55 or $60 for these boots. I really need a pair of winter boots. I don't currently own any boots, so I was researching different kinds. And the feedback, a lot of people actually said that they have Cabela's. Um, Cabela's has a whole different selection of different kinds and styles and stuff trekking or snow boots or specific to one or, or another thing but uh, I'm really happy with them uh, price was right they seem very durable I want you guys to comment down below if you happen to own some Cabela boots uh, let me know what you think long term did they fall apart on you have you been happy with them I mean I'm stuck with them now I own them but 
they're very comfortable and I like the way they look and everything and most important it's gonna be good in the snow and ice and with the boots I also got these so what could these be African earrings no they look like some kind of <laughs> some kind of uh, I don't even want to mention it in case there's kids watching but I'm sure the adults know what I'm talking about. Uh, but no, these are actually, um, they're shoe chains. They go in the boots. I put one on here and show you how it works. Basically, the front part here goes towards the front of the boot. Just like so. And then you just stretch them down. Sorry, this is off camera here for a second. But you stretch it down around the boot just like this and we get it nice and tight around there make sure everything's all snug and tight and it's very simple they say there's a word front so you can't screw up even if you want to unless you can't read then you have a problem but anyway that's what they are they're easy to put on and they're literally just snow chains for your boots I think this is a really cool idea. I haven't tried these yet, but the concept seems straightforward. Um, if it's real slick or icy or something like that, uh, it should provide extra grip uh, walking around in the snow and ice. So I got those. And th this set was, they range anywhere from like $10 to $30. This is a mid-ground or mid-range set. Um, it's not as fancy as the other ones, but it was, I believe, $15 or $16. But yeah, I'm real happy with the boots. Just guys, let me know if you've used... Cabela's brand boots specifically, if you like them, and if you've used these chains before, are they helpful, are they useless, you know, let me know. I just kind of made the purchase because I needed boots anyway, and it just caught my eye. So anyway, that's what that's all about. The next thing I wanted to mention is I got this in the mail today. Some people might know what that silhouette is. Of course, this is from St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. And it's a nice card. It says, St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital has received a gift in tribute to Helen Johanna Pepe. Uh, this, gift was, uh, this gift will bring hope to the children of St. Jude's. And from Jeffrey Smith. Uh, the person who I put is a tribute card. And I put the, uh, the, the excuse me, the donation. The, 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 I can't talk today. I put the donation in um, one of my best friend's mother's name. She passed a couple years ago, and when I went to actually make my donation, they had this tribute card, and I this is the first person I thought of uh, who I wanted to put it in tribute to. So anyway, that's um, that's what I received for my donation. Uh, the original person on eBay who won it never did anything with it, never got back to me. So someone actually from YouTube who watched my videos stepped up to the plate they had um, given me the same amount as the high bid on the auction to donate and they uh, have received the uh, the wanger knife and they're actually going to be doing their own auction and I'll give you information about that in the future um, so not only did they use their own money to give to me to auction okay or to give to the uh, auction to give to the charity um, but they're also going to auction it again themselves and give that money to charity as well so this whole thing is actually going around twofold so I think that's awesome now the same exact individual is a person who I sent the um, the Spyderco the salt that I would have been doing all this testing on I sent them the knife as well and that's also going to be auctioned off I'll have a few a future video about that and the specifics on how you guys can get in on that so if you wanted the Wanger uh, the Wanger knife it will be auctioned again and if you wanted that Spyderco knife that as well will be auctioned and it will all go towards a, a new charity so just want to show that to you guys you know, because a couple people were asking me what happened with that. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for the account update. Um, I did get a uh, Christmas present today. Uh, of course, I'll hold it off for Christmas. A Christmas gift uh, from one of you guys. I also got some Christmas cards here. I'm not sure what we do with the cards. I, I kind of want to open them before Christmas and hang them up and stuff. And as they come in, do videos on them. Here's the cards here. Here's just the back of them. But um, I might just do, you know what? I'll do a separate video 
and I'll keep you posted, I'll keep you up to date as things come in, and I'll open the cards and stuff on camera, and I'll save all the actual gifts for uh, the Christmas video. But anyway, that's it. That's my account update. Thanks for watching, as always, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.